Oh, here it comes. Here we go. Enjoy, right. guys. Ah, look at that. Look. Oh, my God. I tell you, you always eat good on this show. Bill Burr has been pushing people's buttons for nearly three decades. He truly dares to be different, whether it's on stage or behind the wheel. He's a man of many interests, from flying to baking, and his tastes are kind of hard to pin down. I thought you'd get a kick out of this. Oh, no way. Every time he comes by, I try to find something I think that he'll like. <laughs> Today, we start out the easy way with pizza. Being from Boston, I thought I'd take you to North End Pizza, which is the north end of Boston, which was sure. in the Italian part. Yeah. But when I would be in some other, I'd be in Southie, which is like, I guess, mostly Irish. Hey, what are you doing here? It's like, you know, <laughs> they would do that in Boston. Like if you drove a Volvo, would your father get you there? Would you some kind of trust fund? Oh, yeah, no. What, do you think you're smart? What, are you smart? What, would you go after a dream and you made it come true? Yeah. Huh? Is yeah. that what happened? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our last time we got together, we had the 65 Buick Riviera. If that was your dream car. Yeah, I love yeah. that car. Yeah? Anything changed since? Taste evolved? Anything new? What are you looking at? I've really been into sleepers lately. The ingenuity behind that, taking a car that doesn't look fast, but secretly underneath, it can beat some of these, like, cars that are obviously fast. Right, right. And then if you keep going, then it becomes sort of like, more like the oddball. Cars like yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. A little weird, yeah. yeah. When I first moved out here, I was gonna buy my first like real car. I finally made some money, so I went. I bought the Jaguar XF Sport, right. and I had to order the British Racing Green, and that was the thing where I was just like, I don't care what the price is. Always say that to the dealer. It was hilarious though when I brought that thing home. My wife was pissed. She didn't know how good it was gonna look. I mean, the car is gorgeous. Right. So she saw it, and she was just like, oh, my God. She goes, where did you find this? I said, oh, you know, I went on the website, and I ordered everything that I wanted. And she was just like, I didn't know you could do that. I just like the fact that you don't do any research before you buy the car. No. Well, you know something? I got a car I think you're going to like. I'm excited, because you were, like, the last time you well, totally no, no. hooked me up. This would be sort of the ultimate sleeper. The ultimate sleeper, OK. Yeah, yeah. You want to take a look? Absolutely, I do. All right. Oh, you can pay. Oh, I can pay. All right. That's how it works. Here you go, what do you oh, think? This is one of my favorites. It's Ian. an AMG 6.3 V8, twin turbos, about 603 horse, maybe a little bit more. Battleship gray. You want to take it for a spin? Yes. AMG is Mercedes performance division, as evidenced by this engineering marvel. It's a car with a real dad bod, but they can get to 60 in three seconds. There we go. Now she's moving. Now we're cooking with gas. Pulls nice See, there, huh? you shouldn't uh, just the fact that you're in a station wagon doing that. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. What's it gonna take to get you in a car like this? I could definitely see myself in one of these. It's a great car for a car guy. Yeah. Now, I know you've always been into helicopters. Did you ever get your license? Yeah, no, I have my license. And what I fly are just regular, like, carbureted engine. Right, right. And I fly 22s and 44s, and that's it. I always liked helicopters, but it wasn't until I moved out here. You can't get out of this city when it's everything's working. Like, how could you get out of this city when, you know, the S hits the fan? So apparently you keep this helicopter at your house. You never saw a Rambo movie? All of a sudden, you run around the corner, the and there's a helicopter. <laughs> right Keys there. are in it. That's right. You get in, you start it up. Chuck Norris did that in, like, 12 different movies. I think I know what you like now. I got a car. We'll do some flying on the ground. Am oh. I going to be in a rumble seat or something? No, 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 no. But uh, you might need the goggles. OK. Right. We'll head back to the shop. I'll show you in time. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Let me explain what we have here. What is this? This is a 1910 Mercedes chassis. And it has about a 1914 Benz aero engine in it, one of the first aero engines. This car was built in 1921 in England to run at Brooklands to set a speed record. And it lapped Brooklands at 113 miles an hour. So it's got some real history. Oh, my god. Somebody uh, turned a corner in this thing? To put it on the road, we put a Lincoln front axle, and I put some disc brakes hidden in those fake drums. We put a modern clutch in it, updated a few things, but kept it all pretty much as it is. It's like flying an aeroplane on the ground. It's incredible. You ready to go for a ride? Absolutely, I am. We'll show you how this baby runs. Oh, this is going to be cozy. All right, let me get in here. Throttle pedals in the center. All right, I got the goggles. Don't kill me. You can't make any promises. Woo! Come on. It's like you're riding a motorcycle. 
God, this thing is awesome. You like keeping a low profile, don't you? That's right, that's right. Go under the radar. We got brakes on this, right? Yeah. It's a suggestion. <laughs> you downshift. Yeah. When you see right inside the circle, then you're starting to get warm. Funny to drive this car in LA. You got a weird sense of just. Hey, you want fire back here? Ah, a little bit of smoke. A little. Should clear out. I didn't know how it's gonna feel about this. I absolutely love this thing. Yeah, that's fun, isn't it's it? It's amazing. That doesn't ride bad, does it? Not at all. But imagine this in 1910. Most people only went as fast as they could run, or maybe a fast horse. I don't even have my foot on the gas. And you see how fast we're going. It's got so much torque. All right, now we're moving. This is great. Sun's going down. It's perfect. You got one of those auga horns? Yeah! And we're doing about 60. You know, you're slowing us down with that full head of hair. I know. This is one of the most enjoyable cars I've ever ridden in. I'm not even I love it. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.